Welcome to this World Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, now you've installed everything, you started up, and you're there, uh, like, oh, look at that signals, and I want to tune around. How do you tune around? What do you have to do, and how do you get to the frequencies you want to go to? And of course, you can click on the uh, frequencies on the waterfall. But you might be actually in the first run wondering why when you click on a frequency, you're kind of off. For example, here 6105 is Radio Japan in, from France. Now I want to tune 6105 and I click on it and I'm at 6104764. What gives? Why is it that I'm not on 6105 when I clicked here? It all has to do with the precision of your tuning. If you right-click on the frequency display, notice tuning step. It's set to 1 hertz, very precise step. Now, you can change that if you want to click on the waterfall to 1 kilohertz. And now, let's do the same thing, but I'm going to go tune Radio Havana Cuba right here on 6,000 kilohertz. I click. And I'm on 6,000 kilohertz when I click the center of the peak. So this tells you that you are on the frequency. So depending on the precision that you are, it will also affect the precision of where you're clicking. And so at 1 hertz, you actually have 1 hertz resolution clicking here, which will always give you frequencies that are a little off. So that's one thing to know. So you can change that depending on what you're tuning to the tuning step that you need. Now, the other thing to know, if, if you have a frequency you want to listen to specifically, for example, I want to check if uh, Radio New Zealand is audible on 15720. Click in the main frequency receive control. Click, you'll see that it does 1.000. And simply punch on the keyboard the frequency you want to actually go to. So for example, I want to go to 15720, I'll do five, 15720, and just press enter. And here, I'll see if my frequency gives me something or not. It's a very, very weak trace, but nothing more. Let's say I want to go to CHU 3330. I'll click again there, 3330, three, enter, and here we go. I now have the Frequency. So this is how you punch in the frequencies that you want to tune around with. So that's the way to do it. So you can, of course, once again, go on the waterfall and click. You can, of course, click on the frequency and punch in a frequency manually and press enter. And if you have a mouse with a scrolling wheel or if you're using a pad with multi-touch, like I do, you can actually use the multi-touch or the scrolling wheel. And when you put yourself on one of the numbers, uh, depending where you are, you can actually move up and down and look at that. It actually scrolls to the frequency. And you see the display actually move with that. It's a little tougher, so adjusting the sensitivity of your scrolling wheel can help out. But it's uh, fun to, uh, to use. You might be able to actually tune around with this um, easily with using the, uh, the, the, the track pad of the, uh, the, the scrolling wheel on the mouse. So these are a few little tips that you can actually do uh, for the uh, tuning of the frequency and having the uh, proper tuning of whatever you want to listen to on the band. And that's in kilohertz that you see here. So, for example, a lot of people have a hard time then when they want to go to a frequency that's much higher. Um, say I want to have the weather that's on 162.55 megahertz. Well, remember that it's 162.55 when you press. So, I'll press here. 162.55. Five, five, zero. And notice all the numbers with the extra three ending numbers. Of course, that means that I would have to change mode. In this case, choose the FM mode and narrow FM for my 
listening pleasure, and so on. So we're going to talk about that in a separate video, the uh, different modes and the bandwidths also used, uh, depending on what you want to tune around. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.